building work began on this ambitious church in 1882. Workers first built on the foundation of a traditional Gothic crypt. The temple's nativity facade, with its 330-foot high bell towers, were finished in 1936. It's taken over 50 years to build the epic passion facade. Then construct the vast central nave, vaulting and transepts. To form the launch pad for six mighty towers yet to be built. Today, they're attempting to finally complete this giant using the funds generated by the 12,000 tourists that visit each day. Following in the footsteps of generations of architects before him, Chief Architect Geordie Fowley has been building up his dream team in the race to finish. When I started my work here, only there are six people in the office. Now, 40. Because it's a big project. Unique. Geordie's biggest challenge, complete the basilica with barely any plans. Sagrada Familia's original visionary architect, Anthony Gaudi, died almost 100 years ago, and few blueprints have survived. It's a great engineering mystery. They've got this far by copying old photographs of models and 100-year-old sketches. It's important for us to be faithful to Gaudi, because Gaudi was a genius. Gaudi was a true architectural maverick, pioneering unique geometric forms, inspired by the nature around him, trees, animals, mountains. He worked in a style never seen before or since. Gaudi considered himself as a collaborator of God. The architecture of Gaudi is architecture with life, with natural forms, with color, different from another architecture.